In this install.sh episode, I'm going to show you how to play some Windows games on Linux using Steam. That's right, just plain old Steam. I'm making this video in part because people are still watching old videos of mine and asking me how to get games like Skyrim running on Linux. Well folks, the first thing you need to do is install Steam. Steam is available on pretty much every Linux distribution at this point. It shouldn't require installing anything extra otherwise unrelated dependencies like Wine. It goes without saying here that if you want to play games on Linux, you need to make sure that you have the latest display drivers. I'm not going to explain how to get the latest drivers because each distro does it their own way. Just make sure you have the latest ones. Once Steam is installed, you run it and log into your regular Steam account or an account that has access to the games you play since family sharing and just about every other feature works just fine on Linux. So basically what you gotta do to get all of your Windows games running is enable Steam Play for all titles in your Steam library. There's like a subset of games that are officially or unofficially supported that are supposed to work right out of the box and you can just play those right now. But you probably have a lot of games in your library that aren't supported. So you need to go into the settings and enable it. Think of Steam Play like a wrapper around Windows games that make them playable on Linux. Now just because you check that box doesn't mean that all of the games will run perfectly. There's lots of games that are on Steam that don't run at all, but this gets you closer. Now Skyrim is a common request I see in commons still, and it works out of the box with Steam Play. You can get mods working too. I made a video about that years ago and the same steps apply. Witcher 3 is another game that runs great on Steam Play and I'm not going to show any gameplay footage here because at the time of making this video I haven't actually played the game yet. This is the first time I'm launching it. There's a website you can check out called ProtonDB that shows a list of user submitted reviews about how a particular game runs on Linux. Now much like WineHQ and the user rankings or reviews there before ProtonDB, take anything you see, read, or whatever here with a grain of salt because these are all users submitted reviews and nobody is vetting the stuff that people are saying here. So now let's talk about a game that doesn't work so good out of the box, Grand Theft Auto Online. Grand Theft Auto 5 actually doesn't run so good, but Grand Theft Auto Online requires some extra steps. So GTA 5 does run with the default Steam Play setup just by ticking that box, but it has issues because the damn Rockstar Launcher. Even once you get GTA to run, like once you're done fighting with the Rockstar Launcher, you get into the game and your display resolution's probably all screwed up. And even once you get that figured out, when you close the game, sometimes the Rockstar Launcher will hang, which is, I've heard that happening on Windows too, so it's not just a Linux Steam Play thing. Now in order to play GTA Online, like the online version, you need a custom build or a custom version of Steam Play. I'll put a link to the GitHub repo that has the custom build in the description, but basically what you'll need to do is create a new directory in your local Steam folder, download that custom build of Steam Play or Proton from the GitHub repo, and extract the archive to the directory that you created under your Steam folder. Once you've done that, you close or restart Steam, Go to GTA and you can select the custom build of Proton straight from the game's property menu. And once you do that, you can launch the game, cross your fingers, and hope it all works. In this particular case, GTA Online would crash while trying to contact the game servers, but once we got the new Proton build installed, I'm able to just launch and play GTA Online as if it was a native Linux game. Now the reason why I'm showing GTA here is because this custom build of Proton works for a bunch of different games like Warframe, Final Fantasy Online, and there's a whole list of them on the GitHub repo. But GTA Online is probably my most commonly requested game to cover in the series, and here you go. Now much like my previous install.sh episode where I talked about Lutris, this game is mostly targeted at new viewers that are still somehow discovering my older videos with really outdated instructions about playing Windows games on Linux with Play on Linux and VMware. Now I know many of you already know about the joys of Steam Play, but keep in mind that not everybody does yet. And before you post that link to your favorite YouTube video in the comment section that's way better than this one, yes, I'm well aware that there are lots of other Linux YouTubers that have covered this topic in greater detail. This video is meant to be short and to the point because that is just how I roll while making these videos. I hope that you enjoyed this episode of install.sh and if you did and you wanna support me and the channel, you become a patron and enjoy exclusive posts about the channel and playlist with old and unreleased videos. I appreciate all your support and thanks for watching.